Hello dear students our next point is development of resources we will see that what problems we face in the development of resources so let us see the problems first depletion of resources for satisfying the greed of few individuals depletion of resources resources are getting finish resources are getting over resources are getting destroy just because of few greedy people few greedy people are using the resources and just because of that we are not able to develop resources we are not able to give resources up to each and every person second thing accumulation of resources in few hands few hands means rich people most of the resources are accumulated most of the resources are there with few rich people and just because of this few rich people again same there are so many problems in the development of resources now this few rich people are having maximum resources that's why our society is divided into two parts those who are having resources and those who are not having resources like haves and have not haves means rich and have nots poor so haves and have nots these are the two sections of indian society so second problem is accumulation of resources in few hands third problem indiscriminate exploitation of resources now resources are used by people blindly people are not thinking about future and just because of such indiscriminate use overuse indiscriminate exploitation of resources are responsible for global ecological crisis we are facing some crises like global warming ozone layer depletion as well as environmental pollution and land degradation so these are the problems in resource development now the question comes is there any remedial measure yes there are some remedial measures to stop such problems so the first remedial me remedial measure is an equitable distribution of resources equitable equal distribution of resources we should divide resources up to rich and uh, poor people so that there will be no problem of development of resources but the present trend of resource depletion the present speed the present trend of resource depletion by few individuals and countries continues if such trend if such speed continues then the future of our planet is in danger you can understand if we have not stop if we do not stop such trend if we do not stop such indiscriminate use of resources then the future of our planet will be in danger now the second remedial measure is sustainable development you have studied this point in your class 6th 7th and 8th even 9th also what is sustainable development sustainable development means development should take place let us see here development should take place without damaging the environment we should develop no problem we can construct dams roadways infrastructural activities that are possible but there should be no damage no harm to environment and development in present should not compromise with the needs of future generation whatever developmental plans we have followed in present that should not in the cost of future generation so this is the second remedial measure first equal distribution of resources and second sustainable development third remedial measure is rio de janeiro earth summit rio de janeiro it is a city, uh, it is a city of brazil so in 1992 100 heads different 100 countries they gathered they organized one meeting summit that is called rio de janeiro international earth summit this was first international earth summit meeting to discuss about the environmental pollution about the problems and damages which occur to our earth so what they discussed here what and why this meeting was called because of urgent problem of environmental protection it is very much necessary it was very much urgent to discuss about environmental protection measures and socio economic developmental plans at global level at international level so this summit was organized in 1992 and after 5 years in 1997 also after 5 years in 2002 then again 5 years then again 5 years in 2012 then at 2015 also this summit was organized and in that summit what they discuss they discuss that not only on global level now on national level on state level and on regional level also all countries should follow the plans which were made by uh, 
this rio de janeiro earth summit now what they discuss what they sign which treaties were signed they discuss about the declaration on global climatic changes they discuss they sign so many treaties on global climatic change and biological diversity and in that same rio de janeiro earth summit one policy one principle was adopted that was agenda 21 so what is agenda 21 let us see this agenda 21 is a product of rio de janeiro earth summit what important points discussed here let us see it is the declaration signed by world leaders we have already discussed more than 100 heads gathered and they discussed some important issues in 1992 at the united nations conference on environment and development unicef what was the main aim this main aim is important this main aim is achieving global sustainable development not only for one country but for whole it is not only for one country but for whole world also to achieve global sustainable development there should be sustainable development there should be no harm to to any natural uh, conditions again one more thing they discuss it is an agenda to combat environmental damage there should be no environmental damage poverty at international level there are so many countries those who are poor then diseases through global cooperation to cooperate each other to help other countries on common interests on common issues there are so many common issues like poverty diseases uh, terrorism nowadays this terrorism and war and so many new problems are generated so this agenda 21 was signed by 100 countries to achieve global sustainable development up to 2021 but dear students uh, it is seen that uh, it is observed that by 2021 this aim is uh, not possible to achieve so the timeline has been changed and the new timeline new timeline has been given by 2030 now it is a target of united nations to achieve global sustainable development by 2030 Hello dear students let us turn towards our next point resource planning but before starting this point let us see what does this word planning mean planning means strategy for judicious use of resources judicious proper use judicious use of resource by keeping in mind its future requirement its future importance that is called judicial use of resource so we are required to have resource planning resource planning proper use of resource resource planning distribution of resource in all areas in all regions of the country so resource planning is very much important in the country like india why it is important in india why resource planning is important in india because india is a large country india is a diverse country that's why we require to plan resources so if any question comes try to note down the question why it is required to plan resources why planning of resources is required <clears throat> so if such question comes or any question comes on planning of resources or what is planning of resources why it is required why should we resource plan the resources let us see its answer its answer is given here you can understand there are so many regions in india which are rich in some resources and some regions are deficit see here there are regions which are rich which are rich in resources but some regions are in deficit rich those who are having maximum resources and those who are having very less resources so to maintain balance between these two regions those who are rich means those who are having maximum those who are having minimum so what to do in resource planning to take from those states who are having maximum resources and to give to those who are having minimum <clears throat> that is called resource planning and if we are successful to complete this to do this then there will be balance between the development of all states all states will become self sufficient so let us see which states are rich in some resources here it is mentioned in example the states of jharkhand chhattisgarh and madhya pradesh are rich in minerals and coal deposits these states are having maximum mineral and coal deposits in next line they have mentioned arunachal pradesh has abundance of water resource but see arunachal pradesh is rich in water but lacks in infrastructural development but there are no dams there are no factories industries construction road that things are lacking in arunachal pradesh so what we need to do we need to take 
रिसोर्सेस फ्रॉम झारखंड छत्तीसगढ़ एंड मध्य प्रदेश एंड टू गिव दो स्टेट दो आर नॉट है अरुणाचल प्रदेश हैज रिक्वायर्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल थिंग्स सो दैट वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड अरुणाचल प्रदेश देन टू मोर स्टेट्स आर देयर इन इंडिया दोज हु आर हैविंग वेरी लार्ज कैपेसिटी टू प्रोड्यूस विंड एनर्जी एंड सोलर एनर्जी दैट इज राजस्थान एज वेल एज गुजरात ऑल्सो इट्स नेम इज नॉट मेन्शन बट राजस्थान एंड गुजरात दिस टू स्टेट्स आर हैविंग लार्ज एंड ह्यूज कैपेसिटी टू प्रोड्यूस विंड एंड सोलर एनर्जी सो इफ वी सेट अप विंड एंड सोलर एनर्जी देयर or wind solar energy plants then it will be helpful for india so we need to provide a technology to rajasthan so there will be balance next is ladakh let us see uh, sorry but before that rajasthan uh, in rajasthan some things are not available like water so rajasthan is very well in wind and solar energy but there is a shortage and absence of water so we need to provide them water and we need to provide them technology also for wind and solar energy next the cold desert of ladakh is relatively isolated from the rest of the country it is isolated we are not having good roadways and railway as well as uh, some other means of transportation to reach to ladakh so we need to connect it with other parts of india it has very rich cultural heritage but it is deficit in water it is cold desert so it is very rich in cultural heritage its culture is unique but it's deficit in water so whatever things are not available that we need to provide them and which things are in abundant in large quantity that we need to take and give to other states this is this creates balance resource planning it will it is called balance resource planning between uh, at the national level state level regional level and local level it is not only state to state but we can provide these resources from one area to another area one district to another district our next point is resource planning in india now we have studied uh, how uh, why do we need resource planning now how to plan the resources how does resource planning occur in india resource planning kaise karenge agar hame ek dusre ko resources dene hain to dene se pehle resources dhoondne padenge for that we need to do some steps so what are these steps let us see here resource planning in india if any question comes how does resource planning occur in india so let us see here first point identification and inventory of resources across the regions of the country identification we need to identify which resources are available in which region as well as we need to make its list hame usko pehchanna hai and we have to make its list inventory list so identify karna then we need to make its list the next step will be this involves surveying if we want to identify if we want to make list so first of all we need to conduct survey survey we need to go to that area we need to make its mapping mapping through mapping we can get the location exact location then its quality what quality is this of that resource what type of resource is available if coal is there so what type of coal is there anthracite lignite bituminous or peat that quality also we need to see quantity in how much quantity that resources are available so this is the first step in the planning of resource first of all we need to identify and we need to make its list and for identification and inventory what we required to do we required to do surveying mapping quality and quantity second point is evolving planning structure endowed with appropriate technology skill and institutional setup if we want for proper planning of resources we required technology skill and institutional setup technology is very much essential technology is the only factor which converts that raw material into resource second is skill human efforts proper human efforts proper exact proper skill and second is institutional setup while uh, sorry after extracting that mineral from land that uh, particular raw material from land we require to send it to particular factory industry that institutional setup is also required so this is second point for the planning of resource technology skill and institutional setup for implementing resource planning plan if we want to re- plan that resource properly then we require these three things next is <coughs> matching the resource development plan with overall national development plan whatever resource we are going to plan here that planning should match with national development plan there should be balance the aim of national government and the aim of our resource planning should same so that matching the resource development plan with national development plan that is third important part next thing 
गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज ट्राइंग टू प्लान द रिसोर्सेस नॉट ओनली इन 2020 बट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान वेन अवर फर्स्ट गवर्नमेंट वॉज फॉर्म फ्रॉम दैट टाइम फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान फ्रॉम दैट टाइम ओनली रिसोर्स प्लानिंग इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड दैट फ्रॉम दैट टाइम ओनली वी आर प्लानिंग आर रिसोर्सेस प्रॉपरली वट इज फाइव ईयर प्लान इन एवरी फाइव ईयर प्लान फाइव ईयर प्लान इज अ प्लान विच इज सेट अप फॉर पर्टिकुलर गोल इन एवरी फाइव ईयर प्लान गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सेट्स वन पर्टिकुलर गोल फॉर एग्रीकल्चर फॉर इंडस्ट्रीज और फॉर एनीथिंग एनी पर्टिकुलर पर्पज आई टी सेक्टर और प्रोटेक्शन सेफ्टी सिक्योरिटी सो इन एवरी फाइव ईयर प्लान गवर्नमेंट सेट्स वन पर्टिकुलर गोल सो हियर इन फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान ऑल्सो वी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम ओनली फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान वी स्टार्टेड रिसोर्स प्लानिंग इन इंडिया नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल सेटअप डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड that for resource planning only availability of resources is not important <clears throat> resource is important for the development of region but along with resources we require two more things that is technology and institutions that point you need to remember for the development of any country for the development of any area any region only resource is not necessary along with resource we require technology as well as institutions as well as some other factors <clears throat> there are many regions in our country that are rich in resources we have so many regions like jharkhand jharkhand is very rich in maximum resources but that area is economically backward region that's why we are not able to plan we are not able to develop the resource you try to understand the meaning of development of resource development of resource means proper use of resource proper proper distribution of resource conservation of resource in that single word development of resource so many different words are included now let us turn towards next thing and that is history of colonization you are very well aware that india was there under the british colony and that british colony came to india just because of resources indian resources attracted these britishers <clears throat> now when they came to india they had higher level of technology they had knowledge of technology and just because of that knowledge of technology they were successful to plan the resources to exploit resources from india along with that they developed technological technologies along with that institutional changes they had made in india and just because of technology and institutional changes they were successful to plan the resource to extract the resource from the land and to use that resource for their betterment that's why in resource planning only resource is not important again and again we are discussing this point in resource planning only resource is not important resources were there already in india before britishers also but we could not develop them britishers bring with them technology and institutional setup so in india if we want to develop our country if we want to develop any particular region we required technology we required quality of human resource that is called skill also and we required historical experience whatever we learned from britishers as well as institutions that point is not mentioned but that is also required for the development of resource for the planning of resources thank you